Hey, good morning, devs. This is .m Daily, and it's February 7th, and it is a beautiful day again in LA. No rain, which is great. So let's get into it. So last with .mvx, I showed you how to run multiple environments. And so today, I'm excited to show you encrypted environment variable files. I think this is the future. I really enjoy it for myself. There is a bit of a learning curve, um, but you end up with encrypted .m files that you can ship with your code and a single decryption key that you can put up on your server. So this way, if an attacker gets access to your code, well, all they have is this encrypted file. If they get access to your environment variables, they don't have your secrets. All they have is the decryption key. So now an attacker needs to get access to both. So, the, so breaches like the Circle CI breach, this nullifies that. Those attackers would have to get access to both. They only got access to your environment variables. Anyways, let's get into it. The other thing I should note, it doesn't require a third-party service to run, which you'll see here. So there's not some platform you have to run or that has to be up and running. This is an encrypted file with an decryption key and a pattern to make it work with your .m files really simply. All right, anyways, let's see how it works. Enough talking about it. You can be the judge and see if you want to start implementing it into your workflow, into your secrets workflow. So let's come down here. And we can just follow along, right? So it's going to get encrypted to what is being called a .m .vault file. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. But let's go ahead and come here. February 7th. And let's create the .m file. Let's create the production one. Okay, let's have our little console log. All right, make sure that's working. Okay, that is. We double check our .mx version. Okay, we're on the latest. Now we're just gonna run this command. So real fast, let me show you what's in here. All right, we have the .m file the .m production file, both with different values, and we have the hello world. So we're gonna run .mvx encrypt. All right, so let's run that. One simple command, it encrypts. So you get this message that it encrypted to a .m vault file, and encrypted both your .m and your .m production. Let's real fast add a .m staging. And let's run encrypt again, clear this out. Okay, and now it says that we encrypt the .m staging. We didn't encrypt the .m and the .m production here because there was no changes, so it can recognize that, right? And then it gives you some hints here. Okay, commit .m vault to code, right? So it is safe and recommended to do so. Um, and then we'll skip this one. This is something coming later for a way for you to manage your keys better. But let's talk about what got created. So now if we look at this, we have a .m keys file and we have a .m vault file, right? Let's look at the vault file first. The vault file's got three records. It's got development, production, and staging. And these are AES256 GCM encrypted strings of your .m file, of your .m production file, of your .m staging file, right? So it's a copy of what you've, you've already created, what you're familiar with, you can decrypt that and see that it matches exactly. Now, what's in the keys file? You could probably guess. There's the development decryption key, right? There's the production decryption key, and there's the staging decryption key. So this pattern of having a .m keys file that you don't commit to code, that you share securely with your team, and a .m vault file <coughs> that you do commit to code, uh, extends what we've done with .m before. So, probably wondering, well, how do I use it, right? Uh, so the best to show that locally, in another video I'll show that putting it up on a server, is you get an example here, right? So you get, okay, set the .m key, and then your command, right? So remember when we were running .mvx run node, and that ran hello world from the .m file? Well, now we'll paste this in with the .m key aheads, which is simulating your .m key on your server. And I'm running staging, right? .mvx run node index.js. So this should say, hello staging. And there we go, hello staging, right? Let's uh, take a different key. 
So let's take the production key. All right, and do the same. So dot empty key, paste in the production one. This is simulating, it's already set uh, on the server. And I'll run node index.js. And there we go. It's loading from the encrypted dot empty vault. So what's happening there is the dot empty key is being injected into your environment variables, right? It's already there basically, It'll be on your server. When .mx run runs, it first looks, it sees there's a key. So it says, okay, can I find the .m vault file? Yes, I found it. Can I find the production one in the .m vault file? Yes, I found it. Okay, try to decrypt that. Decrypt it, inject. So that's .m vault, that's encryption with .m vault, with .m files. Now basically you don't commit your .m keys, your .m, your .m production. None of that should be committed to code, just like always, except your .m vault files should be. All right, give it a shot in in what you use, and uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Have a good day.